In this video, we're going to discuss the easy method of placing a split dam for a tooth in preparation for root canal therapy. You'll notice that the dam is already in place, but this is a setup for why and how we're placing it. This tooth is prepared, tooth number 30, for root canal therapy. We've used a 13A clamp. We're going to place a small access and we're going to discover that there's gross caries. Once we discover those gross caries, I'm going to begin sectioning that tooth, or that crown, excuse me, on the tooth. While I am sectioning that with a carbide burr, I'm going to tear the dam. Once I tear that dam, you're going to see it up in the upper portion of the frame. I cannot use that dam anymore, so I'm going to remove it and place a new one. There we have it. We have now torn the dam. We're going to remove that clamp. Cut a new hole in a new dam. I like the handy dam. When we cut the holes for that new dam, we're going to do a figure eight. You're going to see it here very briefly. There we have the tooth all prepared, ready to go. We're going to place that clamp. Again, I like the 13A. 13A clamp is great for the upper left and the lower right. We're going to take that handy dam, cut a figure eight in it. There we go. Stretch it over the bow and then around the wings of the clamp. Stretch it up over tooth number 29. Then I'm going to use some floss to push that down through the contact. Do not pull back up straight out. You'll pull the dam with it. Pull out through the buckle or the lingual. There we go. Once we get that nice and secured in place, we're going to then take the floss back out through the buckle. We're going to take a glick and relieve the pressure on the frame of the handy dam. Uh, you'll notice here I'm going to place a little caulking and then I'm going to stop and relieve that pressure on the edges. You're going to see there. You can barely see it. The magnification on the microscope doesn't allow it to see it all the way. I like to use the ultra dent caulking agent. It's fairly inexpensive. You can use a variety of different ways, but what you want to make sure is you seal any of those probable access areas that either sodium hypochlorite or saliva from the patient's mouth might seep in. We're going to use a wet cotton pellet to smooth it out and set the material. Once that is in place, we are now prepared and ready to start our root canal.